SharePoint is Microsoft's team collaboration tool. It allows you to capture, organize, secure, and share content. Looking at the screen from left to right, we have navigation, a content area with news, quick links, documents. We have some icons in the upper right. We have a search area at the top of the screen. Looking at home, we have news. These are new news items that you're, for your team, announcements. We have functionality such as adding document libraries, lists. We have quick links. This could be links to any sort of external application or website you need, documents, most recent activity, editing the site. That This is for sharing the site. That is for editing the home page. The following is, puts this um, site in the favorites list. We have the settings icon. If you're a site admin or an administrator, you'll be in there quite often. We have help and the account information. Conversations opens up the web version of Outlook. You can go there to send messages, calendars, and also manage your Office 365 groups. We cover more videos on those topics. Just search uh, my site and you'll find them. So moving on to documents, this is where the documents are stored. Think of it as like a file share, but very advanced. You can search documents, you can add documents, create folders. Um, you can sync the library for offline use with your laptop. You can add a shortcut to OneDrive. You can automate by creating workflows. Here is the various views you can get of the content or the documents. You can see that it, it can list them, it can icon them. These are filters. So in SharePoint, we use filters and views to view content as opposed to um, browsing through folders and subfolders. That's the context menu. I can open up the document in the web version of Excel. From that menu, I can also share. I can manage access. So for example, here I can delete the file and we'll go down to the recycle bin. And this operates much like the recycle bin on your laptop. I can highlight the file and I can restore it. You can see over to the right, the sign there that it was restoring. And there it is. And here's uh, more examples of sorting. I can add a column, so I want to capture additional information about a document, such as customer number, customer name. Share with me as content shared with the team. There's nothing there at the moment. This is OneNote. I can store OneNote notebooks on the site. It's a rich editor for text, images, and videos. It's great for documenting processes and, uh, and capturing content, team meetings. Pages are the site pages. These are HTML pages. They contain text, images, videos. You can create those as you see fit, customize the home page experience. This is the contents of the site, the lists and libraries. That's where SharePoint stores the content. And that's the recycle bin. We've already been there. That's a folder I've deleted recently. And this is for editing the menu. You click edit and you can rearrange the contents. You can rename them. And just back to documents. That's probably the main area you'll use within the site. And that concludes the overview for SharePoint. Hope you enjoy. Please click like and subscribe. Thanks a lot.